For the second proposition of Book 2 of Euclid's Elements, if a straight line be cut at random, the rectangles contained by the whole and both of the segments are equal to the square on the whole. So if we start with some straight line, let's say the line AB, and we cut it at some random point C, then what we're trying to prove is that if we create a rectangle from the lines AB and AC, and if we add that to the rectangle contained by the lines AB and BC, then these two rectangles added together will be equal to the square formed by AB. Or another way to look at it is the rectangle formed by AB and AB. And as I mentioned in proposition one for book two, a lot of these propositions in book two are essentially going to be geometric proofs of algebraic formula. So for instance, with this particular proof, if we were to call this length of line AC, if we just called it little a, and we called the line BC little b, then essentially what we're trying to prove is that if we take the line A plus B, so this entire line here, and we multiply it by this small portion, which we've called B, and then we add to this the rectangle formed by the whole line, A plus B, multiplied by the longer of the two segments, A, then this is equal to the square formed by this line, AB. So in other words, this A plus B, and we're squaring it. So essentially, this geometric proof, proving this formula here, will essentially prove this formula as well. So let's start this proof by first constructing a square with the line AB. So we can call this A, B, E, D. And we can do this because of book one, proposition 46. And from here, let's create a line through the point C that's parallel to the line AD. And we can call that line CF. So it's parallel to the line AD. And this comes from book one, proposition 31. And I also want to note that since we have the square A, B, E, D, that all of its sides are equal to each other. So we can say that AB is equal to AD, and these are equal to DE and BE. And at this point, we can already sort of see the proof. So what I mean by that is that we have this square on AB, and this square is composed of these two rectangles. So this is the rectangle AF, and this is the rectangle CE. So let's write that down, that the square on AB, so the square AE, is equal to the rectangle AF plus the rectangle CE. And from this equation here, we can essentially end our proof because this square on AE, this entire figure here, this we know is formed from the line AB. So this part right here is just this part of the statement that we're trying to prove. And now let's look at these two rectangles. So the rectangle on AF, this rectangle here, this is formed from the line AC and AD. But AD, we know, is equal to AB. You can see that right here. So really, this rectangle is formed from the line AC and AB. And you can see that right here. So that is for rectangle AF. And then rectangle CE, this is formed from the lines BC and BE but we know that BE is equal to AB. So BE and AB are equal. So the rectangle on CE is just the rectangle com contained by the lines AB and BC. And with that, we can finish our proof with QED.